I'm sure you would have come across a pair of twins in the neighborhood, right? Did you know that fraternal twins are born when two eggs are released during ovulation and both eggs are fertilized at the same time? This is just one of the fascinating facts I have lined up for you in this video. So come along with me and let us learn more about fertilization and implantation. In an adult female, during a normal menstrual cycle, only one egg is observed in the ampulla of the fallopian tube. It remains capable of being fertilized for only about 24 hours following ovulation, whereas sperm cells may remain capable of fertilizing an ovum for as long as 72 hours. Once deposited, the male gametes must swim upwards towards the freshly ovulated ovum. Usually, only a single spermatozoon succeeds in fertilizing the egg. The enzyme hyaluronidase helps the spermatozoon penetrate through the oocyte membrane. Once the body of the spermatozoon enters the oocyte enzymatic reactions bring about a hardening of the oocyte cell membrane. This important step bars the entry of any other sperm within the oocyte. Now within this oocyte, we see the haploid nucleus of spermatozoon along with the nucleus of the egg. Then the nucleus of the egg completes its second meiotic division resulting in the formation of a mature ovum and polar body. This haploid nucleus fuses with the sperm nucleus to form a diploid nucleus. The fertilized egg now term a zygote. The zygote continues to move down the oviduct to the uterus. However, during the migration, the zygote undergoes a mitotic division to form two cells by the 13th hour. Cell division continues and four cells are formed by the 14th hour and 16 to 32 cells in three days, by the end of which the mass of cells is called a morula. Further cell division leads to the formation of a bigger mass of cells or blastocyst. Blastocyst consisting of an outer layer of cells or trophoblast which gives rise to the placenta and an inner cell mass or embryoblast destined to form the embryo. It is at this stage that the blastocyst attaches itself in the endometrium of the uterus. It gradually gets embedded into the endometrial wall. This process is known as implantation. The blastocyst gradually forms an embryo. A few days later, the embryo has grown considerably and shows the plate formed by the embryoblast. It goes through an amazing series of transformations. This begins with the formation of the nervous system. It continues with the formation of the spinal cord. During this time, the embryo is curled up and it resembles a fish. The human embryo undergoes several developmental stages. It even has a tail. In this short time, the single-celled egg evolves into several million perfectly organized cells which forms the fetus. Let's summarize. The human egg remains capable of being fertilized for only about 24 hours following ovulation. Sperm cells are capable of fertilizing an ovum for as long as 72 hours. The enzyme hyaluronidase helps the spermatozoon penetrate through the oocyte membrane. Haploid nucleus of ovum fuses with the sperm nucleus to form a diploid nucleus. The fertilized egg 
is termed a zygote. Zygote undergoes several mitotic divisions which leads to formation of a blastocyst. The blastocyst gradually forms an embryo. That was just so mind-blowing. I mean the complexity of it all. How a fully formed human with all the organ and the organ system develops from a single cell. Definitely a nature's miracle. Actually, talking about the development of an embryo into a full-grown baby, have you ever seen the transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly? That is also rather mind-blowing. Have you wondered how that happens? Join me as we explore the life cycle of the gorgeous butterfly in our videos.